Hello. Today I believe God is telling me to tell you all today to stay strong. To stay strong. This is not the typical teach, preach, explain message. But this is a warning. And not just a warning. But God is telling me to tell you to stay strong. And one of the scriptures he gave me is 1 Timothy 18. Turn with me there right now. 1 Timothy 18 says, This charge I commit to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage war, may wage the good warfare, having faith and concerning and a good cons- conscience, which some have rejected, concerning the faith having s- have suffered shipwreck, of whom ha- Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I delivered to Satan, that they may not learn to blaspheme. That you may wage war, makes the good warfare, having faith and a good conscience. Today, God is telling you to have faith and have a good conscience, especially in the times that we are in, to wage the good warfare. He says that the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. It says that in Ephesians. So let us today wage good warfare and stay strong, to stay steadfast, to keep standing. Because when we stand, when we can fight, and not fight physically, but fight spiritually, the enemy has no stronghold in any place. Oh, if all the believers could just pick up their cross and follow Jesus. If every Christian on this earth could pick up their cross and follow Jesus, it would be a different world, I say. A different world. But not every Christian will pick up their cross. So I'm telling you today, to the ones that are listening to me right now, to those Christians that are listening to me right now, pick up your cross and stay strong. For now, we're shifting in a different era. Stay strong. Wage the good warfare. Certain things. That will happen. You cannot fight in the natural. Your strength in the natural is not strong enough. The techniques in the natural are not strong enough. But the spiritual techniques. The way to wage warfare in the spirit. The ways that God has taught us. They are so much powerful. They are so much more powerful. Than whatever you could ever think, imagine or desire in the physical. Today, we need to wage warfare. But first, before we can raise up an army. Before we can stand strong. We need to be able to stand strong. Before we can start to fight. We need to make sure that we ourselves are right. Because once there's a flaw in the enemy, say if you're in the, if you're two armies against each other. And if one of the armies has, maybe they're not as prepared, that's a weakness that the other enemy can take. And what they do is they surprise attack them and then they've lost already. Before we can fight the good warfare, we first need to make sure that we ourselves are pure in heart, that we are truly washed away with his blood, that we are truly ready to fight, that we are truly ready to pick up the armour of God. David, it was not his calling to wear Saul's armour. It was too big for him. It was not his calling and it was not his time. To wear armour. But when he was older as a king. He was able to wear armour. Especially when he went into battle. For the many battles that King David went into. So are we ready. To put on the armour of God. 
Are we truly ready to wage warfare against the enemy? Are we truly ready to wage warfare against the enemy? Let us go to 2 Thessalonians verse 2. No, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13. It says, But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through the sanctification by the spirit of belief in truth, to which he called you by our gospel for obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 15, this is what I want you to focus on. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you are taught, whether by word or our epistle. Stand fast. In what God has taught you, in what God has revealed to us, stand fast by those revelations. Stand fast by those teachings. For soon, for soon, we will be tested. We'll be tested by those teachings. We'll be tested that if we truly listen, if we truly focus on what God has written in his word, we are soon going to be tested. So I say, put on the armor of God and stand fast. For soon there will be a test for most of you. A test is coming. And ultimately, are you ready? To withstand it. Are you ready to go through the flames and not be burnt? Are you ready? And not just being ready, but I want us to be pure and checked in heart. To make sure that no sin has been inside of us. That we need to cleanse ourselves daily. And we need to stand fast. For tests are coming. And ultimately. Are you prepared? And have you put on the armour? That is just what God is telling me today. Stand fast. Brethren, stand fast. And that is the revelation that God has brought on my heart to tell you today. I don't know who this may be to or how many people it's meant to be to or what time is happening. But all I know is that God is telling me we must all stand fast for a test. Another test is coming soon. I pray that none of you shall fail this test. Thank you for listening and have a beautiful day.